I'd love to say that there has been a ton of you who asked me what my 2022 vlog setup has been. But if I'm being honest, no one, absolutely no one did. But that's not going to stop me from telling you anyway. First up, before I start, yes, I'm back from my very first trip to the US and it has been exhilarating. I've got two vlogs already on the channel. If you haven't checked that out, link right here. Uh, it is fairly entertaining. But this has been my vlog setup for those vlogs mainly. And bear in mind, I haven't only vlogged with this setup, but I did not carry my laptop to the US. So I edited and published those videos right from the device in question. So let's start from the base up, starting with the tripod. And this is a Manfrotto uh, Pixie, I think, or Pixie Mini. I'll link all of them in the description, of course. Uh, but this is from Amazon. I think it costs somewhere around 1200 bucks. It's a straightforward tripod that if you have handy, you can use it for time lapses. Yet at the same time, you can use it as a vlogging handle and it has a little push button that helps you rotate this ball joint in any angle that you want and I find it comfortable because it is fairly steady. And next, attached to the tripod, I needed a mobile mount. If you've been on the channel for a while, you'll know that I record all my videos on a mobile phone. I think they are more than acceptable in today's day and age. Uh, I'm using the S21 FE uh, at the moment and I will get to the reasons why I chose that particular device. However, the mobile mount in question is not just any other one, but I needed two things in the mobile mount. One, that it had the ability to record both in landscape and portrait mode, so I can record my YouTube shots and Instagram stories from the same mobile mount. And two, it needed to have a cold shoe or a hot shoe, I don't know what it's called. Basically a niche so that I can attach other attachments like flashlights or a mic. I particularly use this for a mic because when I'm logging, I use a shotgun mic because I think audio is as important as video in any any video format. This particular brand is called Yantrale, but I'm pretty sure there are other brands that do that as well. But I have found a lot of value in this and it is built pretty well. Attached to the mobile mount, of course, is the recording device itself. As I mentioned, I'm currently using the S21 FE. Now, let's rest all arguments in the comment section, but I have to admit that uh, Apple's iPhones are definitely better by a margin, but they are better in terms of video quality. However, I chose to go down the Android route because the Samsung flagship devices are not far off. And yet at the same time, they just make the whole operating system an easier experience. For example, if I want to attach a pen drive, transfer audio, video files, attach my 8TB hard disk, I just directly attach it to the phone and transfer files from the hard drive or the pen drive to the phone and vice versa. You can't really do that with iPhones. You have to kind of go through many other rabbit holes. This just makes it streamlined. That's reason number one. Reason number two why I still chose to stick with Samsung because the Samsung My Files app is I think one of the best file explorers available in the Android side of the world. And two, it's one of the only devices that let you switch cameras in the middle of a recording. So while I'm recording, for example, in the Niagara Falls vlog, if I want to punch into a subject far away and then come back to the wide lens and then turn it around and go to the ultra wide lens, Without pausing the video, the Samsung uh, devices let you do that. You can even switch it to the selfie camera if you want to and the video won't pause, it's just continuous recording. I think specifically when you're vlogging and you want to really capture the essence of that moment uh, without tinkering and pausing and stopping and just have it continuously, uh, I think is, uh, is a big boon and it's one of the most underrated uh, features that I appreciate of the Samsung S21 FE. Uh, two small attachments to the S21 FE that really enhance my vlogging uh, setup is one, of course, it does not have a headphone jack, so I use a dongle. Now, it's very important to use the original Samsung dongle. It's inexpensive. It costs somewhere between 600 and 900 rupees, but it's very important to use the original one because when you're attaching an external mic, the original Samsung dongle has a DAC, a digital to analog converter which most third-party dongles do not have. So if you use a third-party dongle, the phone may not detect the mic. So it's important to buy the original Samsung dongle. And two is this little vlogging mirror that I've attached just below the cameras because I use the main cameras while vlogging just to get the best quality I have. Uh, and this mirror kind of helps me frame my shot when I'm looking at myself because I don't have a monitor, but it gives you a rough estimate. You also know what's happening behind. If you like, want to point out at something, you look at the mirror and you know roughly what your framing is and you're not completely blindsided. So these are two small attachments that really help me with the whole vlogging setup. The last but not the least, the mic. I currently am using the Boya BY-MM1 Pro. Now, I used to use an older version of this mic, which was unidirectional, which means it only captured audio that was right in front of the mic. It was only in one direction. That's what makes you beautiful. Uh, this one, however, is bi-directional. Now, it has a mic in the front 
and at the back and the best thing is it has a switch it has two switches one to basically toggle if you're using a smartphone or a camera and the second switch basically has three levels one where it only activates the front mic so everything that's not in the front is muted second is the front plus rear where both the mics are activated so this is helpful when you're vlogging with someone or you're having a conversation and you are behind the mic you kind of use that setting that will record anything that's in front and at the back and nothing at the sides and the third setting is of course only the rear where it will mute everything in the front and it will only activate the rear mic this is very helpful when you're vlogging a scenery or you're just alone and you want to show people what's in front of you yet narrate something that's at the back of the camera that's when you just use this setting and if it's like a busy scenery it's a busy surrounding it will mute everything in the front and just keep this mic activated that's facing you so I think this is a very versatile mic. It comes with these little dead cats to kind of avoid wind noise. It does a fairly decent job. It also has a 3.5 jack to monitor audio if you want that for some reason. You can attach a headphone and monitor audio as you're recording. Uh, I think this is a very underrated mic. Uh, I highly recommend it. As I said, all links of all the products that I mentioned I'll leave in the description. And uh, something like this really helps you get your vlogging game that notch higher. So that pretty much is my vlog setup as of now. If you have any questions, needless to say, you can drop your comments in the comment section and I'll get back to you. If you aren't following me on other platforms, I have my social links in the description. So feel free to follow me in those platforms too. I'm very close to the 500 subscriber mark on YouTube. So if you aren't sub to the channel, I would really appreciate if you did so now. And I guess that's it from me. Stay safe, stay sane, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>